For centuries, the town of Baiae on the Bay of Naples was the Roman Empire's premier resort. From the days of Scipio to the barbarian invasions, members of the Roman elite came here to visit the warm springs, bask in the sun, watch galley races, and attend wild houseboat parties in the bay. Poets praised the beauty of the coast and the charm of the company, while moralists like Seneca growled about Baiae's dissolute morals. Julius Caesar had a villa at Baiae, which the emperors enlarged into a sprawling complex, complete with vast gardens and pools for aquatic displays. The scale of the complex is still visible on commemorative glass bottles showing Baiae's seafront, which enterprising merchants sold to Roman tourists. The fall of Rome did little to dampen the fun. Despite pirate raids and other disasters, tourists continued to visit Baiae well into the Middle Ages. Although centuries of earthquakes and pillaging destroyed most of Baiae's baths and villas, a few have been excavated and incorporated into an archaeological park, which includes one of the most fascinating Roman buildings anywhere. The park extends along the slope of a steep hill. I started at the top, where the so-called Ambulatio Complex occupies a series of terraces. One of the upper terraces supports this long walkway, originally a covered arcade, which dates to the first century BC. Although its function is uncertain, it was likely part of a public bathing complex. Further down the hillside, additional terraces support the remains of other bathing complexes. Before a nearby volcanic eruption destroyed the subterranean plumbing in 1538, this hillside bubbled with hot springs, whose waters were channeled into a series of pools and bath buildings. Just outside the main archaeological area is the so-called Temple of Venus, a 2nd century rotunda originally part of a large thermal bath. Nearby, at the base of the terraces, is this rectangular enclosure, originally a large cistern or pool that collected the water flowing from the warm springs on the hillside. Past the pool, at the hill's base, are the remains of a large bathing complex from the first century BC. At the heart of this complex is the structure known since the Renaissance as the Temple of Mercury, which was actually a bath. The dome covering this room, about half the size of the Pantheons, is the oldest preserved concrete dome in Roman architecture. In fact, it may have been the first large concrete dome ever built. Although the dome itself is fairly well preserved, deep water and thick layers of mud have covered the original floor and pools, creating a unique acoustic environment that earned this room the nickname the Temple of Echo. Other parts of the same bath complex are well preserved, including this room behind the Temple of Mercury, where fish swim in a submerged Roman sauna. This is just a taste of the ruins at Baiae. There's much more to see and say, and I hope to explore the site in more depth in the future. For now, however, stay tuned for more historical tours, and thanks for watching.